What is going on, Internet? AJ in the Valley here, coming to you today from my Manjaro Linux Open Box Edition netbook. A couple of weeks ago, my hard drive crashed on my main computer, and I'm still waiting to uh, gather funds up to get a new hard drive. So in the meantime, I'm testing out uh, recording off of my netbook using record my desktop by the terminal. And of course, one thing uh, I, I'm going to touch on in this video is, is regarding or happened because of my hard drive crash. We all store our photos on our computers and a lot of us uh, do cloud storage via Google Plus or uh, SkyDrive, um, OpenBox or Dropbox I mean or Box. Well I've had years and years and years of photos probably seven years of photos and silly me I always said oh I'll get around to backing them up and I never did very few got up to Google Plus just the ones that I I uh, have kept um, or shot with my phone and other than that other than that they were lost so I scoured the internet and I discovered photo wreck which is bundled with test disk. Now, Monharo Linux comes bundled with test disk and PhotoRec already installed. Now, this is a cross platform piece of software. It can be run on anything from DOS, Windows 95. Uh, Mac OS, Sun Solaris, FreeBSD, Linux, and the latest and greatest um, Windows versions. And I use that term very loosely. But it's cross platform and it works very well. I ran it and I was able to retrieve over a hundred thousand pictures off of my uh, hard drive that had crashed. It's fairly easy to run. You just go into terminal on, on Linux. I apologize. I'm not um, sure how to run it on uh, Windows or Mac, but I'm sure if you go to this website right here and I'll post it down in the notes below that uh, it would have the explanation on how to get it up and running on one of those distributions. So you just go to the terminal and you type in you want to do this as a super user so sudo photo rec enter it'll ask for your password and I don't have any other hard drives hooked up to my netbook right at the moment but you would choose your hard drive that you want to scan so I'll just proceed and what I did was I went up to the entire disk um, to scan that because I really wanted to make sure that I captured um, the entire disk just to to see what was on there and what I could pull. The first time I did it though I ran out of space and that was because I just went search and I didn't do my research but if you if you use your right arrow key on your keyboard and you go over to options You have uh, some menu items here. You can use brute force. Um, if you're paranoid, uh, keep uh, 
corrupted files, no export mode. Go back, your file output, you go over if you tab over one more. And this will allow you to choose, and this was what my error was. I chose all file types, so it went and it scanned and it was pulling all of the files off of that crashed hard drive and saving them to uh, another hard drive which was a, a substantially smaller hard drive and it wouldn't fit I lost or what I thought I had lost all of my pictures it only downloaded probably about 20,000 pictures uh, that go around because it was trying to pull in everything but you can um, click uh, type S and you disable and you can just arrow down you find the file type that you want. Of course, the majority of the files that I was looking for off of my cameras were written in JPEG. And I just passed that quite a ways ago. <laughs> just one moment. Right there. Apologies, folks. Just arrow over to the left, or uh, my apologies, arrow over to the right to select, arrow over to the left to deselect, and then B to save the settings. Okay. Quit. And then you just go over, and I won't do it because this is an active hard drive, and I don't want to lose anything or overwrite anything off, off of this hard drive. But you'd hit s uh, search, and it will start to scan the hard drive, and it will start placing them wherever you tell it to to place those files and it works really well like I said I uh, I was able to download over a hundred thousand photos I still have to go in and do my videos as uh, my my kids um, make videos and, and enjoy that we don't post them uh, for security reasons, but um, I'm going to go back in and capture those. I have to get another hard drive for that as well. So that is that is Photo Rec, the digital um, picture and file recovery system that is available across pal platforms. I totally give it a five star and a two big thumbs up. Hopefully you find this video helpful and you'll give me a thumbs up and hit that share button. And guys, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time.